Welcome back to the PG. You know, my job is to make you hungry, so I'm gonna do what I get paid for. You ready? How would you like to taste some rich and buttery lobster mac and cheese, maple glazed spit roasted chicken, and butterscotch bread pudding? Well, you can get it all at the fireplace. <laughs> The food is straight from the fire. The atmosphere is straight out of your family's favorite get-together. The fireplace in Washington Square, Brookline is all about warmth, especially when it's coming off the open flame grill and stone hearth oven. I like to think of it as kind of New England backyard cooking. We like using wood in the cooking because uh, the flavor from the smoke, you know, is really nice. Simple local ingredients that we try uh, basically not to screw up. Chef Jim Solomon has packed the place for lunch and dinner every day for 10 years with a menu that offers everything from Kobe beef burgers and gourmet hot dogs to house aged steaks, spit roasted chicken, and much, much more. My favorite dish on the menu probably is the braised beef short ribs. We serve my on whiskey smoked grits with a little garlicky spinach. I also, I love the lobster rolls. We serve them um, warm, you know, they're hot. We just saute some lobster meat with um, fresh lemon juice and butter and a uh, little lemon zest. Those are killer. If the fireplace proves anything, it's that you don't have to be fancy to be fantastic. I like really good food, but you know, I can't stand restaurants that have a lot of pretense and we're just not about that here. The fact that we've been around now for 10 years to me is, uh, it's just amazing. So what do you say we cozy on up to the fireplace with chef owner Jim Solomon? Welcome to the Phantom Gourmet, Jim. Thank you, Dan. It's good to be here. Absolutely. Now, listen, a lot of restaurants, there's always that one dish that you're kind of known for. Whether you like it or not, a lot of people say, I go there and I get this one dish. At the fireplace, I think it's the maple glazed chicken. I know you've been doing it a long time, so tell me about the dish and why you think that's kind of like the thing at the fireplace. Yeah, the, the chicken is definitely the signature dish. Sort of a home-style chicken, but a really good version of it and uh, yeah, it's the only dish my sister gets when she comes to the restaurant. Yeah, now you actually cook it like on a rotisserie, right? And so what else goes on with the chicken? We do. So we buy a local, all natural, free range uh, chicken and um, we brine it for four days and I think that's a good part of the reason that it's so moist um, and also, uh, you know, with the maple and other ingredients we use, um, it gets a real sweetness to it. And then uh, we spit roast it for three hours and then we finish it in the stone hearth. Yeah, so I mean, it's sort of that slow cooked keeps it really, really juicy. It really is delicious because you're right, it has that little bit of sweetness at the end, which right, is really right. nice. Now, the cool thing about the fireplace is, you know, it's very, very good food, very cool atmosphere, but you have a big menu for a restaurant right. of, of sort of your caliber. But one thing that jumps off the page and I see it and I say, I gotta get that thing, is lobster mac and cheese. Cause you're oh, yeah. doing like a gourmet version of this dish yeah. that a lot of people are doing now. Right. No, it's true. I think uh, the lobster mac and cheese, I have to give credit, I think, to my wife. Um, <laughs> you know, um, she said, hey, you know, that would be a great dish for you to do because we play, play around with lobster in different ways. And, uh, you know, who doesn't love a good mac and cheese? Of you course. throw lobster in there and it's just rich on rich. And so we, we use five different cheeses and um, we get it really crisp on top and then uh, just light garlicky breadcrumbs and it's, it's an awesome dish. Yeah, everything is heavy and rich except the nice light breadcrumbs at the top make yeah. it seem like, ah, oh, it's kind yeah. of light yeah. after yeah. all. Right. Now, uh, there's this event in Boston every year. A lot of chefs, great chefs from around the city compete. It's called the Lamb Jam, all right? right. All different types of lamb, you cook it, you see which one makes the best. You've actually been one of the winners of the lamb jam the past couple years, right. and you have one on the on the menu, which is the this braised lamb shack. This right. is an impressive dish. Yeah, this dish is out of hand. Um, <laughs> you know, um, it's just been so popular. It's such a great, hearty, you know, rustic dish that, uh, you know, we just haven't taken off the menu. Yeah, and it's it's gigantic. I mean, it kind of almost spills off the plate, but you right. put your fork into it. And, and for lamb, which can sometimes be tough, no, right. no, no, not on this thing. No, it's this beautiful. thing's like butter. Yeah. It definitely is like butter. Now, of course, desserts at Fireplace are a signature. People hang out, they have a, they have a glass of wine, they have a coffee, yeah. sit by the fireplace, have a dessert. The one I got to recommend is the bread pudding. I yeah. know you have a lot of great desserts, but the right. bread pudding, it's just beautiful to look at. And when right. you taste this thing, it's just ridiculous. So what goes into this? Thing? Yeah, that's one of my favorites also. Um, so I used to cook for Paul Prudhomme, the Cajun chef from Louisiana. Right. And, 
you know, we, we made really good bread pudding there. And so I came up with the butterscotch bread pudding. And uh, it's butterscotch bread pudding with rum drunken raisins. Yes. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, it's a, over the, it's sticky goodness. Sticky you know? goodness is a good yeah. way to put it. If you want to get yourself some sticky goodness, everybody, go to the fireplace. They are at 1634 Beacon Street in Washington Square, Brookline, online at fireplacerest.com.